there, I'm Train Signals Heather Ackman. And I'm Train Signals Bill Coulterman. And in this video, we're going to show you how to add a shutdown button to your Windows 8 start screen. Now currently, if you want to shut down your Windows 8 computer, right now you kind of have to take your mouse, if you're using a desktop, and kind of hover it in that upper right hand corner until your charms appear. And then you can move your mouse down to settings, click, and there's your power button. Alternatively, you can press the shortcut button. Uh, what is it, Bill? The keyboard shortcut, and that is the Windows key and letter C. Okay, Windows key, letter C, and that'll also bring up your charms. I never can remember that keyboard shortcut. Yeah, though. personally, I like that a lot better because sometimes it's just hard to get that sweet spot to get those charms to pop out. In any event, I don't like that personally. I know Bill's kind of gotten used to it, but I really haven't. And I, I'm a big fan of just a button that I can click from the start screen to shut down my computer. So we're going to be adding one right now. Now to do that, the very first step is to navigate to our desktop, which there's a little desktop tile there. Let's click that. From here, we can right click anywhere on that desktop and then navigate to New, Shortcut. Now that'll bring up a Create Shortcut dialog box. And where it says type the location of the item, we're going to be typing a little code for that shutdown action. So what we'll be typing is the word shutdown, one word, space, forward slash s, space, forward slash t, space, zero. That's not a no, that is a zero. And now we can click next. We can give a name for this shortcut, and I'm actually just going to capitalize the S because I like it that way. Mm -hmm. And now click finish. And now I have a cute little shutdown button that will shut down my machine. Now, I'm not a huge fan of that icon. Are you, Bill? No, it's yeah. not very inf informational. Yeah, not, not, not a good icon. So we're going to change that right now. All right, to do that, what we're going to do is go ahead and right click on the icon okay. and go down to properties. And from the properties menu, you will see change icon down here at the bottom. See that? Click on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go ahead and say, okay. I hate those little pop-ups and I love them. Now, in here are a whole bunch of icons that you can use. And right down here in the lower right corner is your traditional off button for your computer. So go ahead. I'm going to select that one. Choose OK. And now that will replace that image. Go ahead. We'll hit Apply and OK. See that? Now that's a lot better looking. You can see that and know right away that that's the shutdown button. And now that we have that icon created, we can begin to pin it to areas where we would like it to live. Like so, on our start screen. Yes, on the start screen and even on the desktop itself. So I'm going to pin this to two locations by right-clicking the icon. And I am going to do pin to start, which will throw that on our start screen. But I'm also going to pin it to my taskbar. Oh, look at that. And mm -hmm. I can even move that to its traditional position in the lower, lower right-hand corner. So now that I have that, I can hit my Windows key to return to my start screen. And if I scroll all the way right, there's my shutdown button. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and that is how you can add a shutdown button to Windows 8. You want to do that for the restart button too? Yeah, why don't we go ahead and do that as well? Because I, I restart, I mean, come on, let's face it, we all have to restart that computer once in a while, and it's handy to have that button as well. So let's add that. Let's jump back to our desktop. Same steps as before. We're going to right click the desktop, go down to new, shortcut, and this time we're typing shut down, much like we did before, for space forward slash, the letter R space forward slash, the letter T space, and the zero. And that'll give us our restart command. Choose next. Let's rename it. We'll call this one Restart. Choose Finish. And just like we saw before with the shutdown, we have that ugly icon. So let's go find another one. Properties, Change Icons, and... There's not really a pretty restart icon. Yeah, some people have put this, used the same one. Now, I like to have something different. So even if it's not necessarily 
something that traditionally indicates restart. Now I'm going to use this back arrow because it's it's kind of circular, it's kind of restart, but it's different from the shutdown. So at least it is some sort of separation so that I don't accidentally click the wrong one. So we'll take that, choose OK, apply and OK. And this time let's just pin it to our start screen. And now hitting that Windows key to head back to start. Now we should have two buttons. There they are. Now, if I hit shut down, shuts down the machine. Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs>